Yeah, so a brief introduction, I would just say uh, as a simple definition, uh, hydrogen therapy is utilizing uh, molecular hydrogen to benefit the human body. And so uh, there's been numerous studies that have been conducted so far showing that hydrogen gas, this is also, uh, molecular hydrogen is also referred to as hydrogen gas, um, offers therapeutic effects to the human body, whether that's antioxidant-like effects, anti-inflammatory effects, anti-allergic effects, and the list goes on, um, and uh, benefiting more than 170 human disease models. So that basically is what hydrogen therapy is. Okay. Now, what do you see this doing for people when they start to engage in this therapy and, and consume hydrogen, which water or inhalation? Yeah, so I guess that's a good question. I guess I will start off saying, too, since um, hydrogen therapy uh, or molecular hydrogen therapy is based on hydrogen gas, it's a gas, so you have to figure out how we're going to administer that gas to get the benefits from it. And this is mostly done, the most two popular ways to administer uh, molecular hydrogen would be hydrogen-rich water, which is dissolving hydrogen gas into water to a therapeutic concentration and then consuming that water or breathing um, hydrogen gas. Uh, and you could do that through specialized devices like these systems I have behind me and uh, they'll produce hydrogen gas and then funnel it to a nasal cannula so that you can breathe it um, as you just breathe normal, normal air. And those are the most those are the two most popular ways of administering hydrogen gas. And when you um, are engaging in hydrogen therapy, I'll go ahead and just give you a brief list. I'll go ahead and scroll down. I'll give you a brief list of some of the therapeutic benefits, the biotherapeutic effects of hydrogen and what they've seen so far. So I'm going to roll through this pretty rapid fire, but um, here's, here's just a couple of them. Uh, selective antioxidant-like effects, anti-inflammatory effects, Anti-allergic effects, anti-cellular death effects, anti-aging effects, supports the immune system, increases the metabolism, the cellular metabolism, improves um, the body's antioxidants um, or the redox status of the cell, reduces muscle fatigue, uh, has anti-diabetic effects, anti-cancer effects, improves cognitive function or beneficial effects for the brain, protects DNA and RNA, increases energy or ATP production, um, protects from radiation, protects the mitochondria, and increases mitochondrial biogenesis, means making more mitochondria. Uh, and this is just, like I said, I could keep going. This is a this is a short list of of some of the benefits. And typically, what people when they start to engage in hydrogen therapy, um, some of the things that they start to notice first, I would say, um, is uh, increase uh, energy. Some people notice just really improvements in their energy, better sleeping, men mental clarity, these type of things. Um, but with that being said, uh, understanding the type of therapeutic agent molecular hydrogen is will help you have a better scope of when you should expect to see benefits. And so hydrogen is what you would call uh, in the scientific literature, the technical term is a gaseous signal modulator. So it's just a big fancy way of saying it regulates cellular systems and affects gene expression, alters gene expression. So these, um, and uh, because of that, that's a timely process. It goes in, regulates systems, and then it leaves. You'll breathe it back out. Um, and so typically you'll see in the scientific literature that when you use uh, these studies that they're conducting on hydrogen will be anywhere from like a month to like four weeks to over a year. And, and understanding that, helps you under understanding that gives you a better grit grasp on when I should start to probably expect results. Similarly like exercise. If you understand exercise that a single bout of exercise, you shouldn't expect a whole lot of results. It doesn't mean you don't have any beneficial effects that might be happening in your body with a single bit bout of uh exercise. But it's the repetitive uh, continual bouts of exercise, moderate exercise that leads to this accumulative Effect on the body that where your body starts to change. So, you know, cellular adaptations and things like that take place. This is similar to hydrogen therapy. And so I generally tell people when they start hydrogen that um, they should try it for three to six months and see if it works for them because everyone's biology is slightly different. So some people notice immediate, like first day, bang. And some other people are like, I've tried it for two weeks, haven't noticed anything. 
And uh, some of those people I've, I've, I've talked to, there was one lady um, in particular, she did it for like two weeks. Uh, she had mast cell activation syndrome, did it for two weeks, didn't really notice any significant improvements. But after five weeks, she just continued to do it. She was doing hydrogen inhalation, by the way. After five weeks, uh, she called me and she was railing about the effect. She said, I feel like my disease status is like decreased by like 75%. This is amazing. And and so she didn't really start noticing significant effects from hydrogen therapy, um, you know, until like I said, four to six weeks in. Uh, and that makes really, really a lot of logical sense when you look at this, with, when you look at the scientific literature and when you're dealing with that type of disorder, it's an autoimmune disorder. Hydrogen has to regulate the immune system, which is pretty complex.